Clemson. Good gracious. Clemson 34, Florida State 28. Now, we did have uh, 82 Atlantic jump in. What record does Mike Norvell have to finish with to keep his job? Zone 6 jumped in and said, yeah, uh, he won't be fired, in my opinion. So, I look at this as, you know, Florida State is now a three-loss team. They are 4-3 and three after starting off the year 4-0. and oh, But this was a really tough stretch for this team. So, you know, NC State... Uh, followed by Clemson. I mean, it, it, this is they're, they're beating the teams that they were supposed to beat. They are losing the teams that they should be competing with, and they are really, really close. The Wake Forest game, that was a tough pill, especially at home. But this is what you're trying to build at Florida State, right? You're trying to build a consistent competitor in that conference. And I think that they have gotten there now. This game in the second half, Florida State started to figure some things out, and they were able to eventually start putting up points. And that was all in the fourth quarter. They found a way to get back in this ball game. And that's a credit to them because they looked completely hapless early. And at Clemson, I mean, obviously this, Florida State did the same thing in this game that they have done in all of these past, however many games, right? Uh, You look at the yards per play, you know, let's go on and and run through it. Clemson uh, was up 34 to 14 entering the fourth quarter. Uh, Clemson won the turnovers, uh, one to nothing. Florida State also had three fourth down failures, so that certainly turns the ball over. Um, Florida State's rally helped it win yardage, 460 to 370. Yards per play, 6.1 to 5.5. Third downs, 54 to 53%. Rushing, 206 to 167. And drive points. Florida State had 28 drive points to 14 for Clemson. They won yardage again. They won yards per play again. And that's something that a lot of betters take a whole lot of stock in when you really look at them. But the bottom line is that like, Clemson dominated this thing early, and Florida State, by the time they were able to get things figured out and start moving against that defense, it was too little too late. Not enough time. Just not enough time left in the ballgame. Uh, Jordan Travis, like, eventually started looking really good. 254 yards passing, two touchdowns. He was 24 out of 42. Uh, but DJ, DJ Uyangalele, 15 out of 23, 203 yards, three touchdowns. He has been awesome this year. I believe against their three biggest games thus far, he has 12 touchdowns and zero picks. That This is a complete shift from what he was doing last year. Now, does that say something about Tony Elliott? Or does that say something about DJ You know, coming back and looking pretty good? Maybe Brandon Streeter is the one that, that we should be giving credit to. But this was a great win by Clemson. Uh, going on the uh, Fitzpatrick jumps in, by the way. Big props to DJU. He looks completely different this year, a lot more composed in the pocket, a lot more sensible when running. Yeah, in this situation, they didn't have to run a ton of plays. Like Florida State ran a bunch of plays um, 76 to only 67 for Clemson. But out of those 67, DJ only threw the ball 23 times. Like Will Shipley was a monster here, 20 carries for 121 yards. This was, this was awesome. Yeah, zone six jumps in. DJ is so much better. It's, and it's not that he is, you know, he's not Bryce Young. He's not C.J. Stroud. He's not Hendon Hooker. Uh, he's he's just a better version of himself. He doesn't lose the game for you and put you in crippling positions for your defense, right? And that's, that's what you need when you've got as much talent as Clemson has, especially against this ACC schedule. I don't know that there's anybody on their schedule that will beat them this year. I just don't see it. Um, they have got a fantastic combination of... Line play, and now they've got pretty good receivers, which was a big question for them coming into the season. So definitely a massive, massive win for them. You look at the win probability on the screen here. Um, yeah, yards per play, you know, Clemson wasn't great. Uh, but everything else, like pretty good. The explosive play rate, not not a massive thing. Uh, not a lot of defensive run stuffs for either team. Uh, Clemson obviously had more. But, yeah. This was uh this was a big deal for Clemson. I think getting this last win, the schedule eases up significantly after this one. But uh but Clemson looks like the real deal again. So I guess we better start looking out for Dabo and them Tigers when it comes to playoff time. Uh but we'll see. We'll see what the Coastal throws up in the ACC championship game. I mean, who knows who that might be at this point. 
Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.